Welcome back, you all. It's Timster. Man, let me tell y'all, I was playing Frontlines yesterday, the Roblox update on it, and it looks exactly like a Call of Duty classic game. Also, I was playing Rolling Thunder, and then there's also something on the Rise Ares VR also that's somewhat technically just not even in a beta or alpha state yet, but it's just in some form of development that was fully developed in Roblox. And let me tell you, these Roblox games are actually very, very advanced. When I first thought about Roblox before I even jumped into it or even uh, tried testing any of the games, I was like, whoa, my mind was blown by like how we see that basic picture, right? When we think of Roblox, you just think it's the basic Roblox and just the basic Robux and stuff like that. When we play these types of game and then you go into a whole counter aspect of this, you're, you see all the development, the advancement of the gaming and loadouts and, and graphics in general and just being i think rolling thunder is already really great for roblox but then when i saw Frontlines and aries vr these games i was like okay hold on we got something here roblox has a, a huge developmental process going on up in there and i don't know what the devs and creators are doing but for all of this to just be a free essential is really mind blowing, man. If you look into now, here, here's what i want to really talk about roblox being on quest 2. quest 2 Obviously, a lot of people like to downplay Quest 2 as a standalone native virtual reality headset and also saying that it's more of just a mobile phone type virtual reality experience because you're obviously not connected to a PC. You don't have the utmost graphics. It's not a PSVR 2. It's not PC VR, but a standalone experience with a Quest 2 is still really solid. And if I were to really think about it, some of the App Lab games that I have played compared to some of these Roblox games I, I played are actually all in all the same type of formats at times, or I would even give the edge more to Roblox games. A lot of things that are going in there, rather they're through their software and their hardware updates. If you bring this type of caliber to Quest 2 as a standalone, not only do you have multitudes of free games with App Lab games, now you have multitude of free games within Roblox. When you dive into Roblox, and a lot of the times I have to explain this to people, like when you dive into Roblox, it's tons of games and experiences that can give you ideas of where we are headed and how fast and, and calibrated these games can be for a pretty solid experience. Now, are they perfect? No, a lot of this is free and, and, and quickly developed and just giving you ideas of how advanced everything is. This coming to Quest 2 as a standalone, it's confirmed to come at the end of this year, 2023. And if this actually comes on over to Quest 2, this can be huge for just just capability in general and being able to bring over an audience to mainstream VR. In my opinion, Roblox is not just made for kids. When you actually tap into the other type of essentials they do have to offer. When I was playing these games yesterday, I was like, oh man, th this is not just a kid's game. This is pretty wild. And when I was playing Frontlines, Frontlines was so sweaty like a call of duty game it was literally so sweaty man Frontlines it has like all the checkpoints domination has death match the king of the hill movement the sensitivity you'll be able to change it it has the, the field of view you're able to change it up and it, it is literally a call of duty game um uh, just a little bit more to the point obviously not as heavily like the curriculum is not advanced enough but for it being 100 free it's authentic and I was like, man, yo, this is crazy. The fact that this game right here and and then on and then when you look at Ares VR, you're like, whoa, the fact that these type of games, the way the realism approach that it has, the realism approach that uh, Quest 2 can almost adopt by just bringing over Roblox is going to be insane. It's I would say Roblox almost looks like uh, the front lines aspect almost looks like a contractor's approach right now to Quest 2 and I'd say Rolling Thunder is still in earlier stages. The graphics are not the best, but the experience is there and like the, the field of view and everything is there in Rolling Thunder. And I'll, I'll have to say Frontlines was like incredible. So I was like, I, it is sweaty. It's a very sweaty game, but the fact that it looks like that and Rolling Thunder looks like this and this experience is, is huge for FPS criteria. Roblox being able to offer this for free is huge. Now, the question is, is Roblox gonna come to Quest 2 for free? That we don't know. It could be a cash grab off a brand alone, but if Roblox is free, so because when you play Roblox VR now, it's, it's very easy. You just have to link to a PC. And when you link to the PC, you're able to just control it uh, from the desktop. And obviously you're choosing a VR actual game in Roblox throughout your PC VR experience. But without having to have all of that stuff, right? If we're thinking about it, just put on the Quest 2 and ready to go. 
I think that that's going to be a very enjoyable experience because like what I said, Roblox VR, in my opinion, is on par with what App Lab Games is offering right now, graphics wise and just development wise and just what an App Lab Games is starting to catch on a little bit. I understand devel uh, developers got to make some money. So a lot of the games have been charging now. They're trying to leeway a lot away from free games these days, App Lab Games. And I, I feel that Roblox, if they can just give that all in one culture another run that this can really help out the quest 2 also the fact that quest 2 had lowered their prices in recent times this can be all in process to bring in some form of audience that is really well so roblox quest 2 making it easier for their fan base to come on over to a virtual reality platform that's standalone that's easier and simplified versus just being pc vr is huge the graphics are incredible and it's very enjoyable I was truly, truly shocked at these games. Y'all gotta let me know. Have y'all played these front lines or Rolling Thunder or have you checked out that Ares VR trailer, man? Y'all gotta go see all that stuff because I'm telling y'all, if you were to watch this, you'd be like, yo, like this, this is crazy. If this is actually built in through Roblox, like this is crazy, man. And I, I feel that that technology is really dope and it's cool, like how much it can expand. Now, giving it a virtual reality experience, Roblox is gonna be obviously everything's going to be different you know depending on uh if they can even implement hand tracking right because if you have roblox and hand tracking i think that's going to be super super exciting to try out man i just wanted to share that with you all that roblox y'all need to hurry up and come to quest 2 y'all did confirm for the end of this year so hopefully y'all do capitalize on that and come out in the end of the year but i just need to know are you bringing on these games uh, don't limit us with a lot of the experience just like how among us vr did among us vr kind of limited a lot of the experience but i hope roblox can bring over that full experience so that you can really really grasp onto virtual reality for free and very much have a magnified version of roblox including all of the games that they're mostly known for i think that's going to be one heck of an experience for all ages it's, it just it has all ages down the line in my opinion and it's pretty fresh so i just wanted to share that to y'all today man if y'all interested in this type of stuff man hit us up with a thumbs up subscribe i always appreciate y'all and comment below man y'all y'all gotta let me know man like are you excited for roblox coming to quest 2 because i am man appreciate y'all